Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sassy, and today I'll be showing you how to beat the Easter Egg and how to build the shield, along with how to build monkeys, pack a punch, and how to upgrade the Blundergat to the Acidgat in the Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map Betwixt. I stream Custom Zombies on Wednesday, so subscribe if you're interested. And now, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you may want to do is build power. In order to build power, you'll need to find two parts, the lever and the wires. The lever is found either in this area not far from the shield building table, against the wall on the other side of the room from Tacticula, in this little nook not too far from Quick Revive, on the other side of the wall from the mystery box spawn, or across the room from the mystery box. And the wires are found either to the left of the build table near spawn, across the room from Tacticula, next to the nook near Quick Revive, next to the mystery box spawn, or across the room from the mystery box. Once you have both parts, you can build power on one of the walls near the trunk. After you've turned on power, you'll be informed that there is something in the manila room, and the block key will show up in the spawn room. Use this key to open up either the shower room or the fire room. It doesn't matter which one you choose, because you'll have to do both eventually. I personally like to take the fire room first, and then do the showers. For the fire room, you'll first need to collect souls in the three large black orbs. Filling all three soul boxes will open up the door at the end of the path. Going into the newly opened room will lead you to a hallway filled with doors. Knock on every door until the blocked pathway opens. Then head through to the courtyard and interact with the statue to start the lockdown. For the lockdown, you'll need to survive approximately two minutes. Completing the lockdown will reward you with the second key. Pick it up and then head to the newly opened door to leave the area. For the showers, you'll need to collect souls in the three large golden orbs. Filling all three soul boxes will open up the stairs by stamina. Head up the stairs to the area that contains a radio and a payphone. There will be three payphones you will need to hit in a particular order. The first one is in the area with the radio. Then if you head down the hallway to the left of that phone, there will be another one right in front of you. And then there will be one in the room at the end of the hall. You will need to hit the three phones in a particular order and then interact with the radio. The radio will play a part of a tune. You'll need to hit the phones in the correct order so that the radio plays this tune. The order changes each game, so just keep trying until you hear the correct tune. Once you've correctly played the tune, the door where the third payphone was will open up. Head through the newly opened door and interact with the statue to start another lockdown. Again, you'll need to survive for about two minutes. Completing the lockdown will open up the final room with the teleporter pad to take you back to the main area. If this is the first area you complete, the key to open up the fire area will spawn at the statue. Completing both the showers area and the fire area will spawn the summoning key next to the last lockdown statue you did. Don't forget to pick it up. You will now need to press the three buttons around the map in any order. Once you hit the first one, you will have 45 seconds to hit the other two. One button is found right next to the trunk, one button is found at the entrance of the fire room, and one is right near Double Tap. After you successfully hit all three buttons within the time frame, the trunk near one of the buttons will open up, revealing the blunder gap. Pick it up. Then find the wall with the cracks in it, not far from Tacticula, and shoot it with the blunder gap. Then use the summoning key to open up the room with the teleporter. Then, when you're ready, take the teleporter. You'll be teleported to a different area. Find the large metal door and interact with the panel next to it to start the process of opening the door. You will now need to wait about five minutes for the door to open. Once it does, head through the door and interact with the panel at the end to escape. While you play, you may want to build the shield, so here's how to do that. In order to build the shield, you'll need to find three parts. The face piece, the back plate, and the handles. The face piece is found on the left side of the room when you exit spawn. The backplate is found in the fire area's lockdown room near Fighter's Fizz, and the handles are found against the large cylinder near where the pink soul box area in the showers is. Once you have all three parts, you can build the shield at any of the three build tables found around the map. One is found near spawn, one is found in the showers by the spiral staircase, and one is found in the fire room. You may also want to build pack punch, so here's how to do that. In order to build pack punch, you'll need to find three parts, the flag, the gears, and the top piece. The flag is found when you go up the stairs in the shower room, in the corner across from Deadshot. The gears are found in the fire area of the map, near the first soul box you come to. And the top piece is found right near Tacticula. Once you have all three parts, you can build Pack Punch inside the back rooms. You can also build monkeys on this map. To do so, you'll need to find two parts, the monkey and the dynamite. The monkey is found in the fire area, either down the stairs from when you first enter the area, under the span right before you get to the first soul box, or next to the build table. And the dynamite is found in the showers area in one of the three corners of the spiral staircase room, either across the room from the build table near the stairs, in the corner of the room to the left of the build table, or in the corner in front of the build table. 
Once you have both parts, you can build your monkeys at any of the build tables found around the map. And lastly, you can upgrade the blender gat. In order to do this, you'll need to find three parts, the engine, the vial of acid, and the briefcase. The engine is found in the shower area, up the stairs with the waterfall to the right of the first phone. The vial of acid is found in the showers area, found in one of those rooms as you make your way to that soul box. And the briefcase is found in the showers area near stamina, either to the left of stamina, by the pillar in front of stamina, or in the water by the red tree across from stamina. Once you have all three parts, you can build the acid gap machine at any of the build tables around the map. And that's it. I'll be doing more Easter egg guides in the future, so subscribe if you're interested, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.